how's it going guys and welcome back for a brand new video here on the onyx wheel we're closing in to the end of grace and oh my am i excited but before this video continues make sure you smash that like button comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel can we reach 18,000 subscribers that would mean the absolute world to me and also if you haven't joined your daily dose of dexter god and do that right now by clicking the bell that will give you a notification every single time that i upload but without much more fussing around how about we just go ahead and dig straight into it Something that I've been dying to do ever since I stopped recording the last episode is using all of my tier 3 MCO MMO pouches. I got this extremely cheap off the auction house. I have no idea what the guys were doing that was actually selling them, but it was incredible cheap. So these right here has been burning a hole in my pocket because I really need to get started getting my MCO MMO up so I don't lose hunger and so on and so on. But alright guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up all of these right here and let's go ahead and see how much mcmo credits we can actually get and hopefully it will be enough to get 1200 in herbalism and then the rest on acrobatics so without further ado let me go ahead and use up all of these pouches and here goes the last mcmo pouch and that is going to give us a total of 2716 mcmo credits if we do herbalism right now i'm only level 27 so i haven't really done a lot of that but all right so what we need to do is redeem and we're gonna go in herbalism and we're going gonna ride 1200 i'm pretty sure yeah so herbalism now is enough that i wouldn't lose hunger at all that means that i don't need to slice eat or anything like that why can i not spell this right there you go so 1227 that is plenty now the next one if we do redeem right now is uh most likely going to be arsui or acrobatics if we if we do slash credits we can see how much i have left so I guess we can check it like that. Redeem. How much can I check right here? So, what do I do? I go up in acrobatic or archery? I'm gonna go up in acrobatic, uh, sorry, acrobatic right here. Can we put 1,000 in it? We can put 1,000 in it. All right, so let's go and check next time. Acrobatic right here. Can we put 500, 600 in it? All right, so I don't have enough for that. Uh, okay, so there's no way to actually check how much credits you have or i don't know it so i guess i'll just continue using 100 in it until i reach the max so that i'm not even max yet oh my god all right so let's continue and there you go i'm pretty sure we reached the limit so acrobatics there we go so we are 1500 urban acrobatics giving me a dot chance of 4.5 actually i'm pretty happy about that so now we do not lose hunger and there's a chance that we dodge attacks so now that that is taken care of oh my god i actually i've actually been waiting quite a while to actually use those on camera for you guys but finally we're here absolutely fantastic so let's go ahead and continue with the video. So in today's video, I had planned out that we are going to do the base. We're going to gen, we're going to do all of this awesome stuff. And uh, I log on and, uh, and uh, the entire base is gone. They took a job! They took our job! So I guess in today's video, we are not going to be building the base, but do not worry because now we can actually see what is what. So as you can see, as I showed you last episode as well, we got a ton of traps. I mean, we got traps every 20 blocks most likely. And then we have two counters right here on each side, as I showed you before on the other, ep oh, sorry, the uh, other episode. Yeah, pretty much that is what's going on right now. And uh, the entire base is gone. We do have a bedrock vault in the corner for some reason. Not really sure why that is located there. I don't even think that's allowed but you know nobody's gonna notice definitely not when i make a video about it but there you go guys the base is absolutely 100 complete which means we have no more base work to actually do thank god though because i feel like i literally just did an entire base but anyways, guys, let's go and continue with the episode. All right, guys. So apparently there's a raid event going on. I had no idea that it already started. But as you can see, we're already shooting and we're pretty far in. So this right here is the progress that we made so far. And down on the other side, which is all the way down here, that is the progress that Narcos have made. So we are definitely way ahead of everybody. But we still have about half a buffer to go. So let me go and cut it right here to get a little bit closer to the base. And let's go and see how much value you we get out of this 
All right, guys, we are only a few walls away from the raid event, and I'm pretty sure we're the only faction this close. Keep in mind that if we actually manage to breach this before anyone else, we are gonna get a ton of spawners, which is definitely going to help our F top quite a lot. But here we are, four walls away, getting closer and closer to all the beautiful value. And here comes the last shot. I'm pretty sure we win whenever we hit that one, or maybe next shot. I'm actually not completely sure, but there we go. And then next next shot we should win this entire event so let me see when it comes in right here it should say something down in this chat there we go reach the raid event for 34 minutes and we got oh my god so three god sets 2.4 bow sharpness 7 that is the best sword you can get in the game a stack of places 32 creepers 64 iron golems and one silver face not gonna lie guys that is absolutely insane sharpness 7 sword oh my god the sword alone is worth at least 50 million. But alright guys, GG on the raid event. They actually buffed the rewards just a tiny bit. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and continue with the video. Alright guys, it's been a few days since the last clip. I thought I would wait until TNT enables because to be honest, I couldn't be asked to do more base work. But yeah guys, TNT has enabled about 8 minutes ago and we are already shooting at a faction. If we do fmap right now, you can see that we're shooting at Amis Doink for some reason. Not really sure why we're shooting at these guys first. But as you can also see, they're also trying to patch. But without further ado, let me go ahead and cut it right here. Switch to highlights of us going through the walls or whenever we get close to the base. Alright guys, we're getting pretty close to the base right now. We're only a few chunks away. We're going through the fences right now. Then we have a chunk of normal walls or two chunks of normal walls. And that is pretty much it. We do have some issues with our Discord call, us getting disconnected. Not really sure what's going on. But I'm gonna attempt to go into the faction call. And once again, let's have some fun. Right, we free! Here we go. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, he needs to jump down. He needs to dress like, down. He needs to. Fuck make rifflers in the roof. Come on, man. He needs to dress down to like two two six. Yeah, I see the boxes now. Two, what are we even lined up for? Three is the lowest. All they have is like blazes up. I think. Yeah. Right? Is this a spot? Oh shit. It's the next box. <laughs> I fell too. Oh man, we have to go all the way up. There's nothing in this box. I assume these boxes right here. There's stuff in it. What it is? Oh shit. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, so I was in the way. I'll go down here. My bad. Can we go a little bit further down? Let me see. Uh, I don't think that'll help. I'll try. Well, oh, that's actually perfect. Holy shit. I'm getting all of them now. Yeah, trying to get the last one. It might be too far away. I use sleep for that. That's gonna get it. Why not? Spot on. Yeah, there we go. That's the last one. Alright guys, so it doesn't really look like the Discord is actually functioning. It says a waiting endpoint and it happens to everybody on Discord. So I don't think anyone actually heard me calling out where the spawners were and stuff like that. But alright, so we got one of the boxes. I'm pretty sure we have to wait them multiple times to get all the other boxes. And no, okay, never mind, we don't. This is the vaults. Okay, so we pretty much took out all of that. Why would you only have all the value in one box? That's kind of strange, isn't it? But alright, guys, GG, I guess. This right here was our first raid at this Onyx map. And to be honest, I had an absolute blast. But I think that brings us to the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. And of course, comment down below. And if you haven't yet joined your daily dose of Dexter, I do not know what you guys are waiting for. Click the bell right now. That will give you a notification every single time that I upload. Also, before I end off this video, make sure you check out my Outland videos that I'm doing on the channel right now. And also, if you have seen them, go ahead and leave a feedback down below as well. Let me know what you guys think about the Outlands videos. Should I continue doing them or should I stick to factions? 
Next episode, we're gonna take a closer look on the new enchant added to this Onyx realm. And hopefully, we're gonna do a lot more raids. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next video. In today's video... Look up, look up, five, 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 you sixty. Oh, shit. Legendary AK. Oh, my God. Dexter, Dexter, go. Dexter, run. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Move, move, move. What? I just picked up a fucking full Kevlar set almost.